it rather depends on what your intentions are to come out of the series, because I'm not entirely comfortable with the idea of... of the, the, this section of society are really dysfunctional and, and sort of underclass of society, and it can be construed that we're looking at them disparagingly and disapprovingly and, and, and looking into their lives as middle-class people and judging them. So that's not a, a great... I'm not to terribly comfortable with that, uh, with, with that sort of umbrella. Um, I mean, the other side of that, to be fair, is you've got people coming together right. for no reward other than the hope of finding a missing girl alive. I thought that was kind of... Yeah, kind of yeah. I, I think, if anything, it's, you know, it's very rare to see real working-class people being portrayed on Well, TV. there's a great and point. Th and this is... And, and it's very fairly done. And also, it's an amazing thing for, from the perspective... Exactly, the perspective of the woman who has done everything she Previously, can to help yeah. and then has been betrayed by this... You know, it's, a, it's an amazing piece yeah. of drama. Yeah, it's an amazing story, yeah. and I, I don't if, doubt that if, at all. If you've got a situation, situation where you've got people who have been murdered, <coughs> for example, you know, um, and then they make a documentary and it features... It's about the murder of somebody, I think that you're on a very difficult ground because... Then... you just remember Paul Greengrass, of course, uh, United 93, tells the story of uh, the 9-11 yes. flights. Yes. And in that, he went round and got, as far as I know, uh, the sort of green light from relatives of all those that perished. I think he actually got a clean sleep. Certainly got many, many relatives back to it. I, um, I agree, which, but in this case, sensitive. in this case, the perpetrators of the crime are still alive. Yeah. Would we expect the filmmakers to go to Karen Matthews and say, "Is it okay?" They did no, try. I, they see, did try. I wouldn't it's not really because the I think it's no. the actual victim. Well, that's, that's, exactly. that was, yeah, but, but, you... I think, but I don't. I think that. I thought it was a really... There is an element... When, you, when I went to South Africa, you could do a township tour, right, where you could go and hand-ring for half an hour in a township and then yeah. come home to your lovely hotel. There is an element of, let's go into this not-very-nice estate and let's exactly look, look at these dysfunctional people and then we can sit on our sofa and think, is that good if we don't live there? There mm. is an element of that, always. Aren't we better but, for not being there? But I think they actually... You're right, Richard, they offset it very well by giving, number one, Sheridan Smith... So she is a really... She's a star, so they give her the lead role and they portray her and the effort she makes in a very positive light. And that's really important. So it's not just saying... I just want to bring back to, to Shannon, cos... Th 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 Shannon has not died. No, no. Right? She went through a horrible experience, mm. but she is alive, she's 18. We have no idea what she feels about what actually happened mm. to her. We have no idea how she feels about this drama, no idea at all. Her grandparents have had no contact with her. The BBC is obviously aware of this, the programme makers, because they've... They have, I mean, there's, she's literally hardly in it. Of course, she's been yeah. kidnapped, but there's, there's a fleeting shot well, she's of in it photos. By yes, yes. yes. Yeah. and, and a, a, a girl at a distance who is obviously Shannon, yeah. you see. That's all we've seen in episode one. Yeah. Yeah. By essentially editing her out, of the story, does that show sensitivity in case she... I, I think mean, it I, does, cos yeah. I think the, the, the theme was about the kind of feeding frenzy that goes on around this story. You've got, you know, Karen Matthews, who's enjoying the attention. You've got the Sheridan Smith character, who's also enjoying the attention, actually. You've also got the TV cameras, you've got the, um, the newspapers. Everybody's feeding off the story, and that, to me, is what this yeah. drama's really about. I thought it was actually really, really well handled, and I was a bit nervous with, you know... If this and and the been... grandparents' points about Shannon, though, you know... I think the grandparents... Stuff, she, she, the... She'll now know all the terrible things well, that yeah, have happened to her. Saying, the grandparents are obviously hugely embarrassed for themselves. Yeah. I mean, Quite. Because Possibly. that must... It's and awful, the, the, the but it, drama, the story happened. The drama is as nothing compared to what's actually happened to the little girl. <laughs> the, the, this, the well, she was drugged, be... so we don't know what she well, remembers, Matthew, what she would Matthew, know. She, she left her birth mother, she didn't have a father, she, she's had a pretty difficult life. So uh, the idea that the little girl is now sitting at a university studying for a degree in a Russell Group University, I would imagine, is not the case. So the poor but little... you don't girl, know. No, I'm sure I don't, but the poor little girl, what she's been through, will be... will, will, will have been traumatic, so... This drama Actually, is going to help. If she well, saw I... how, how her whole estate mobilised themselves to try and find her, actually, that's quite heartening. I mean, mm. they really did pull together to try and find her. And I think it's worse that it happened rather than there's a TV show that's, about it. You know what I mean? So yes, I, don't, I don't think it's going to be, oh, no, this is... You know, it's not necessarily nice, but does that mean you can't, you can't no, write a drama about anything? And there is... Because there's been, always a victim in, there, in every been, story if it's true. There's been dramas about Rose West and yep. Red West. There have been dramas... Myra all Hindley. These... It's huge numbers of books about real crime. I don't know who reads yeah. them, but there's yeah. a big genre of real crime yeah. books. People are very interested in real crime. But it crime. sort of is about the Sheridan Smith character rather than, yeah. you know... Yeah. And, and so 
I think that's kind of interesting, and I'd be interested to see the second part. I wouldn't have watched this if I wasn't going to come on here to say because right. I don't, I don't really like these kind of things. But I'd be interested to see it because because it, it's because she's so focused on you know on this community thing, and then for that to be blown apart yes. and for sort of what everyone. It's a really interesting story because everyone's going, oh, you're, you're from a state and this will be blah, blah, blah. And then it turns out that there's sort of some truth in that. There is, yeah. that, that that's well, an interesting well, well, thing well, to... One last thing, just in terms of the timing. I mean, it's not, as, as Grandma not pointed out, long. it's not even been ten years mm. since this happened. Does that have any bearing? I mean, is nine years... You know, does... I think that's long enough, nine years. <laughs> I do. It's, a, it, it's, it's two years, <laughs> no problem. Who decides? Who knows? Well, there, there aren't any rules, so it's, it's, uh, this is what... Arbitrary. Questions of but taste to are, are very can, subjective. You have to say you can never write about anything true. If you say so uh, you, your, your son was in a film about the... Uh, about the tsunami. tsunami yeah, so yeah. can you not write a, Great you not write a film about Great that? Point. You know, so you have to... You have to be able to write about true things. I think of those course. are the best stories. So there's always going to be, a, a, you know, it's, it's an interesting point. But yeah. I think that I think for me that they tackle both the issues of the working class, you know, looking down at the working class, and also the uh, the fact that it's about a real person by by being very fair and open-minded yeah. about it and not making it about shadow. I don't, I don't think. Yeah. Okay. Do okay. feel free to comment and give us a thumbs up if you feel inclined. For more clips from the show and exclusive behind-the-scenes videos, click here. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button here to be automatically informed when new videos are available. Links to our other social media platforms can be found in the description. Thanks for watching.